there, there you have it. Big Pharma's your daddy. Campaign is still going on. I'm sorry, the cash cow. Who's your daddy? Uh, as privacy protection. So there was supposed to be return postage in this. What are these? These are uh, eight dollar and ninety five cent stamps. Wow, how cool! I don't think I've ever seen that before. Anyway, what this is supposed to be is let me unpack it and we'll look at it together. We could be friends. This is the chassis out of one of those Guild vintage telephone novelty radios. Insert picture here. So this is just your standard All-American 5 radio, 50C5, 6BE6, 6BA6, 12AV6, 35W4. I'm a little bit interested in how this was disassembled, but okay. And the symptom, the complaint, was motorboating. 1962. April 19th, 1962. And of course, this has our crappy... Uh, IF cans with the clear bottoms that like to develop silver mica disease. You can often see it with night vision, as was shown in a previous video. Going to have to figure out how this all works. So this is directly out of the audio output transformer. So this goes to our speaker. We need to get a line cord on here. I guess this was, was in use. Interesting thing about these blue capacitors. Um, they sell for ridiculous amounts of money on eBay. And I'm not quite sure why. I have Packard Bell TVs that are just full of these things. And I think the... TV is probably worth more, the capacitors are worth more than the TV at this point. This might be cracking and failing. Let's see, that goes from... Looks like it goes from maybe chassis ground to lined ground. Let's see, what is this one? This one's connected to the uh, oscillator. Anyway, let's grab a speaker and a line cord, and we're going to have to see what this switch does here. Now, that's a power switch because one side of it goes straight to the line cord. So we could just jump right around that. Motor boating. It's got a bar antenna. And I don't know how this is installed in the chassis, why the dial uh, cord had to be removed like, like this. I mean, we can tune it, so that's not a problem. But let me get it hooked up and let's see what motorboating, let's see how, what this person uh, defines motorboating as, if it'll do it here. First thing is let's, since it's fully discharged right now, uh, let's um, check the filter capacitor here and see how filterlicious it is. Let's see how much filtering it has the ability to filter. So it looks like it's totally open. Well, that one, that one looks okay. And this one looks completely dead. So could the motor boating be due to an open filter? Is filter hum possibly motor boating? Now one section is toast. As far as I know this was in 
use in service so I'm just I'm not going to use any protection on this no light bulb or isolation transformer we're just going to roll bare back on this thing and hope for the best well Well, Got me a new instrument here for my punk noise band. This is honestly a different symptom than what I would expect from a bad filter capacitor. So I don't know if that's what's wrong with it. We're going to find out right now. Well, it's obviously what it is. I'm trying to wedge this in there. So up at the top there would have been the this is a test, this is a test lady, and she's been off the air since we had those bad storms. Um, so no more this is a test. Somewhere I think I have a recording of it at Gray Line when there was a music station coming in behind it. Uh, I might, if I could find that, I might stick it at the end of this video because this is going to be a pretty boring video. It's an old clip, though. What comes next is our defining moment. What we all do next can be that reflection of our character. I am not wavering in my commitment to you to have a police force that is here to serve and protect you. Those five officers and others failed our community. This is KBLA, Black Lives Matter Radio, Los Angeles. As a proactive measure to ensure that a complete and independent review is conducted on all of the Memphis Police Department's specialized units and the commitment of my executive leader. <laughs> Irene Nichols, the Memphis Police Department in our great city. Oh. oh yeah. 
Suddenly. All right. Uh, it just needs recap. This is a this is a simple one, but it's going to be a little bit challenging because of how many wires are connected here. You know, ideally, I want to get the old capacitor out, which probably means just snip the pins off of it because this 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 capacitor is isolated from the chassis see how it's got this plate here the the uh, the the outside this is not ground this this ground is separate from the capacitor capacitor ground so i'm gonna have to figure out how to do this and maybe get a terminal script and why the hell does it have security screws holding the capacitor in those are freaking security screws Why? 250s at 150, and I was using a 56 at 200. This would be fine. You could go with 247s or 256s or 2100s. These radios are not critical. You know, this thing is in such good condition. I don't know if the humidity. Uh, accelerates the silver mica disease but this was obviously stored in a very dry location I mean this this chassis is in absolute excellent condition this is there we go with the security screws again or whatever special bit that is yeah this is an absolutely excellent condition compared to most of this stuff we see that's all rusty and corroded I mean, look at this. The brass is still real shiny on the IF. This is in... Chances are these capacitors aren't even leaky. But I think I'm going to change... Probably going to change these because these are paper. Or I'll see if they have any kind of voltage potential across them. The rest of it's all disc and these... These... Uh, I believe these are... Um, uh, plastic film or mylar these are not paper these blue ones it's in really nice shape gonna go ahead and recap the radio gonna change these two black ones I've got two film modern film I'm gonna install this what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut cut these off where they go into the capacitor then I'm going to solder this onto the ground lug of the capacitor right there. Bring these, this up, solder it here and here, and then we'll put our two new um, Panasonic Electrolytics right here. So we'll get this out of circuit first. Just like to, uh, Turfo Crocolate. There you go. Yeah. Get there that one out of circuit. Yeah, All right. Here we go. I got those two paper caps changed. These guys right here. And the electrolytic is changed. I got both negatives connected to the center, which is connected to the body of the old can, which I did not do anything with. So, I think that's a decent job. Now, just to test it, I, I just, this is in such nice shape. Yeah, I'm so used to rusty, crappy stuff. Work on this, I feel like I'm in foreign territory. Not enough rust and corrosion. Los Lobos, Beth Hart, El Tabarge, and Stephanie Mills, John Tesh, Big Ben Live, the Irish Tenors. Turtles, little Anthony, 
Gary Puckett, the Bogues, the Classics Four, and the Cal Sills. All this and more coming to the canyons at Agora Hills and Montclair, the Savant Theater, Beverly Hills, the Oxnard Performing Arts Center, or the Libby Bowl in Ohio. 50 bands doing half a song each on five different stages all at once. Well, it's been running all day, and it's um, pretty solid, pretty good, works good. Not much of a video here. Um, seems rock solid. The only possible thing I found was this tube socket right here, the 35C5, you move it around and the light goes off. But I don't think that'll be a problem. I don't know sockets a little loose or something. Because that, that light gets its power across one of those filaments in there. Bob Orchard. And I'm Karen Adams, a triple murder at a home in Montclair, and San Bernardino County Sheriff's detectives are not saying much about it. Our Pete Dimitrio is live with the details. The three people were found in the back of a home on Ramona Place last night at about 9.06 by deputies after they got a 911 call. Apparently those three people died from gunshot wounds. Oh, apparently. They all had holes in the sides of their heads, and apparently, yes. Apparently. What they can in the way of evidence. Detectives departed here about an hour to an hour and a quarter ago. The word we're hearing from neighbors is that they either had some occasion to notice that there were police at the home or that the home was quiet. Not much was going on. A neighbor who was right next door was asleep, was woken up by detectives at 4.45 in the morning, Rob. Well, there you go. A simple uh, All-American 5 that's in great shape recap. Replace the electrolytics. Get the old ones out of the circuit and put new ones. Real easy.